So a couple of weeks ago, a good friend of mine that I've known for a number of years called me and he said, hey Clay, I've got two cars sitting over at my house. I need to get them out of here. We live in a trailer park. They gotta go. At the time I was like, oh man, I don't wanna go buy any junk. I don't need any more stuff. I've got like 10 cars now, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh. So I asked a couple of my friends, I said, hey, my friend's got this 2008 Dodge Caliber and this 2007 Ford Freestar van. He wants 1900 bucks for them both. He says the Dodge Caliber doesn't run, but the van runs, but it needs some mechanical work and stuff like that. A bunch of my friends that I contacted said, no, we're not interested in that. They sounded, you know, just like I felt on the inside that they were just probably some junk. And, you know, nobody wants a Dodge Caliber, nobody wants a minivan, blah, blah, blah. So what ended up happening was I ended up going over to his house because I told him I would. So I stop over at his place and I see underneath the carport this pretty nice blue Caliber. And I'm like, oh, that's a nice car. Well, I'd pay, you know, whatever. I wonder what the miles are. Well, then I get a battery charger and I put it on the, the charger and it says it only has 106,000 miles on it. Then it comes to find out that it's a one owner on top of that. And I'm like, what? I'll pay 1900 bucks for this car by itself. Then I went over to look at the van. The van wasn't spectacular, but definitely wasn't a bad van for the money, considering that I would, could get both of them for 1900. Well, this car I couldn't get running at the time. So I just said, hey man, I'll give you 1500 only because of the guy in me. Really not anything any more than that, just being a purchaser and whatever so i buy this car i go over and i get a jump box that's fresh the thing starts right up and runs great it had a little check engine light on on the inside of it but we ended up fixing that that ended up being a ground short <laughs> and then i started cleaning it out it wasn't very dirty at all but on the inside i got quite a surprise i found this sweet multi-tool i'm gonna show you this thing so Look at what I found on the inside. It's this multi-tool. It's a real life dick beater. <laughs> I say multi-tool, you could use your imagination. Personally, I'm not gonna use it for that. And once I started thinking about it, I hope no one else did because every time you hold it, you hold it by the end right here. So fast forward a couple of weeks, I end up selling the car for 3,700. It was probably worth a couple dollars more, but I got exactly what I asked for it. I could have asked more, but I didn't have that much into it. And I've still got a spectacular car that if somebody needs to borrow a car, I can loan it out to them. So it's a blessing all the way around. So keep that in mind anytime somebody calls you about something and you're like, eh, I don't really want that, go over and take a look because you never know. This has happened to me dozens of times over the years and I've been lucky, lots of them, but I have also spent tons of time going to look at stuff that was just junk like I thought. God bless you folks. Have the best of day. I hope you enjoyed the story.